guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the coolest point shoes in my opinion. And these are the Sedansa Electrotech point shoes. The reason that I decided to review these and why I decided to buy them is because when Gaynor Minden which is the point shoes that I currently wear. When they changed their production to be in Europe, they changed like some of the things on the shoes. And I found, and me and a lot of other girls actually too, found that the satin was just a lot stiffer than it used to be. So it just made the shoe feel completely different. And I hated it, but I actually found a solution for it. So I'm not gonna be changing my shoes, but that is the reason why I actually bought these shoes in the first place, um, was to kind of like replace my gainers or just try something new um, that wasn't traditional so that I wouldn't have to spend so much money. This is what Sudansa's website has to say about what the Electrotechs are. Over the past few years, Sudansa has been tirelessly perfecting new technology that helps reduce injury and outlast the long-established paper mache point shoes. With innovative engineering that respects past tradition, Electrotech provides comfort and safety like never before. With an interchangeable shank system that uses a resilient housing, you will be able to customize your shoes for each foot, variation, or situation. These came out like two years ago, I think, or something. Um, I've never heard of them until this year. Um, I think they redesigned it and did it, and that's why they're promoting it more. Um, but there are two. There are two styles in the Electrotech shoes. So let me just read again. So the Joy Two is designed for the for the dancer with a Greek or Egyptian foot. Joy Two is wider through the metatarsals and tapered through the toes. The ample platform provides stability on point, while the shank housing and box construction allow for a beautiful roll through. Soft wings provide support all through the metatarsals and create a beautifully smooth look through the toes. Joy 2 offers a full coverage for those dancers needing a higher vamp. And then there's the Allegria. I think that's how you say it, not really sure. And this is for dancers looking for a similar profile to Joy 2 but need a lower vamp. Allegria is, is a perfect choice. Um, the style offers the same features as Joy 2 but allows dancers with shorter toes the ability to roll through demi-point properly and get completely over their box. I ha currently have the Joy 2. Um, I definitely need a high vamp because my toes are not very short. The cool thing about these shoes are that you can customize your shanks. So it literally does not come with a shank, which is just so weird to me. So as you see in here, this thing flips up and you can take the shank out. So that's the shank in there. And there are so many shank options and basically you just put them in. Um, if you need a stronger shank, you just pop it out, put another one in. It's really good for indecisive dancers who don't know uh, if they like a harder shank or a softer shank. I think that's really cool. So the price point on these shoes are $140, the same as Gator Minden. So we actually get a lot more because you get like, I think you get like other things with the shoe too. I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so I'm going to go into the process of how I bought these shoes. So you buy a point shoe fitting online. And I think it was $30 and basically they email you and they set up a time where you can do a zoom call with one of the fitters They sent me a huge box with four pairs of shoes So many shanks like I don't even know how many and then I went on the zoom call and the girl gave me some tips um, About the shoes just let me know a lot of things. Um, obviously, I'm I've been on point for a while So I didn't really need her to tell me like what shoes to buy I kind of already knew like what I liked. So you pick your shoe and then you send everything back and they'll just charge you for what you keep. For my shoes, I bought three shanks. And the first shank I'm gonna tell you guys is the, I think it's the Flex shank. Um, the Flex X and a four and a half to five size. And then I got the Firm V in four to five and a half size. Um, and then I got a ultra firm triple I and four to five and a half. So I got one of like every strength just because I honestly couldn't pick. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna get all three. And I think they're only like $10, so I was like, whatever. Okay, so enough with the chitter chatter. I'm gonna go ahead and review these for you guys on foot doing some ballet which i haven't done in like two weeks so it'll be interesting yeah um but let's go okay so the first test i'm gonna do is the tondu test and basically i'm just gonna tondu and look how i like the way the point shoes look on my foot this test is purely aesthetic um just to see 
how I like the way the foot the shoe looks on my foot um, if my foot looks arched enough um, because I don't have very high arches I need a shoe that really complements my foot Okay, so I'm gonna rate the Tondu, I don't know, like a five or a six maybe? I'm really not sure yet. Um, I just know when, if I decided to do like a variation on these shoes, my feet would honestly just look like biscuits. Even though I do have the most malleable shank, I, I don't know, I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling the vibes. Um, one problem that I'm actually seeing that's really bad um, is that the, the shank is cutting up way too high and I don't know if that's my fault for picking like the shanks that I did um, but it's just really weird. The next test is the releve test and pretty simple just gonna do some releves to see how I feel in the shoe if it feels lifted if it's too hard if it's weird to roll through and also one-legged releves as well because those are very different feeling the releve test for me gets a four or five out of ten I don't know what it is I think maybe it's because I'm used to my gainers I'm not really sure I'm really not trying to bash them like they're not awful but for some reason like when I go up I feel feel they feel like kind of cheap for some reason okay i'm not trying to be rude um but they just they're really hard to get up i don't know if that's because of the shank but i feel like i'm just like it feels so uncomfortable to like roll up it doesn't feel natural if that makes sense um it could be because of the shank like i'm feeling like i have to like really get up there and not really roll through like I do with my meaners. I don't know. It's it's definitely because of the shank is is way too high on my arch. So I mean if you try these shoes and you like the way the shanks feel, then honestly they'll probably be, you know, good. The next test is the hop test. And I'm just gonna be doing some hops on point to just test the way they feel. Take this one with a grain of salt because I suck at hopping on point. But just to see if I feel lifted or if it's like super hard to hop. Okay, honestly, I hate hopping and I'm really bad at it, so. But. I I'm not really feeling any problems with it, so I'm gonna do like a nine out of 10. I think they're fine. For hops for me and the last test i'm gonna do is the pirouette test this one's very important obviously because we do a lot of pirouettes um this is just to see again how my balance feels how it feels to turn in them okay my hair is so distracting right now it's like whacking in the face okay pirouettes i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. it's actually i'm not feeling the same shank problem um and actually the more i wear them the less I feel. Maybe it's because I'm like pushing my shoe or my foot more into the shoe. Um, so it's becoming less of a problem. The one thing I will say as well is something that's really important to me as a dancer is how comfortable the shoes are. Whereas they kind of mimic the structure maybe of gainers um, with them not being like traditional paper mache. They definitely do not have the same comfortable feel to them. Um, so I actually wore these, tried to wear these one time in point class and I had to switch out of them in the middle of class because I couldn't even focus on my point work. I was literally like dying. It hurt so bad. Um, another thing I'm like not the biggest fan of is the, the way the box looks on my foot. Um, I think it's obviously compared to like my other shoes. My other shoes are more tapered, but they still have a wide box if that makes sense. And these ones are just like super wide and bulky. Um, and I just like really don't like that look. Okay, so honestly, I would not wear these shoes and I wouldn't switch into them. 
Um, I think they're really cool and I think you all should give them a try. Um, like at your local dance store. Don't just buy them because they're really expensive. <laughs> but again, this is my foot and you could really love these shoes. So don't take my, my word as like a don't get these because I'm not saying that. I think they're really cool and innovative. Um, I just compared to me having gainers and just being used to that and loving that shoe. Um, this shoe is different and it's not my favorite. Overall, I give these shoes like a 5 out of 10. Half I'm like okay with, half I'm like no these are, no I don't want to wear these. Another thing I'm noticing is when I'm on demi point, like the box is really high to the point where like it digs into my foot. And that's another thing that my gainers don't do even though they are, I think they're like plastic or polymer something some kind of material but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys have tried the sodansa electrotex comment down below let me know how they worked for you um because i'd be really interested to see and yeah i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video stay confident bye